In today's video, we're gonna be installing some motorcycle parts. We picked up the Tusk Oversized Rotor, AKA the Typhoon. I thought hurricane season was over. Your typhoon season is here. This is from Tusk and it is going on our 2019 Husqvarna FE250. What it comes with is going to be a bracket to relocate your caliper because you are going with the bigger rotor. You're gonna to have to push that caliper out just to tad. And this is gonna go ahead and do that. It does come with a new bracket for, I can't remember what it's called, but it's got that little spongy thing that I believe it goes in the middle if I remember what it looks like. Just take a look at your old bracket, compare it to this one, and then put this wherever you need to. You will see it's gonna be easily identifiable. Oh, look at that glisten right there. Look at that, it just, it's like a show model right now. The exits are gonna be on the back of the cabin. If you wanna make a sudden stop, please be sure and get a Tusk Big Rotor. Typhoon season is here. Hope y'all are enjoying the video. Wanted to jump on here and remind y'all to be sure and check out the links in the drop down section below where you will find some coupon codes as well as affiliate links that will directly help support the channel at no extra cost to you. I appreciate y'all. Let y'all get back to the video. Enjoy. So it's uh, that's all that comes with your kit. It's very straightforward. All you have to do is remove your old uh, rotor from your dirt bike and get one of these. Now, be mindful that going with a bigger rotor may cause your dirt bike, if you ride single track or some hard enduro, which we definitely don't, we struggle. Struggle is the word more so than ride. That you, this may hit the couple rocks, just get a guard if you are looking to protect it, get a little bit more life out of it. Now let me just go ahead and favor the wheel and tire straight to our table from the garage. Whoa, look at that! Hot diggity dog. So you're gonna go ahead and remove it, And once you remove all the bolts, go ahead and remove your rotor, put that off to the side because you will no longer be needing it. And while you're here, go ahead and clean the surface area on the mounting point of your wheel. And then you're gonna mount this. And then you go ahead and put the Tusk Typhoon, Typhoon rotor on. If you have a speedo sensor, there is a small hole close to one of the mounting points that you would just remove it from your old wheel and place it on here. You wanna go, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and feed the bolts by hand to make sure they're not cross-threaded in any way. And then once you start applying pressure to tighten them, you're gonna to wanna to go in a star pattern, just that way it's even pressure. And just kinda of get them a little bit snug and then continue to work around and then just come back to the bolts in a, in a star pattern. And just like that, we have installed the Tusk Typhoon rotor, along with a whole lot of mess on our table. We got these two here. It's a slight difference. It's very difficult to see. Let's see if we can get it up here. Uh, can we go to camera two, please? So it's just, you, instead of the waves, you do have a little bit more surface area here, which is gonna help you break a lot quicker. And it is just a hair larger in diameter, but compared to the overall surface of the rotor, you do have more surface area, which is gonna help you stop quicker. 